I'm starting to build a map of the Pacific and Atlantic Takamo trailing wire areas, adding them as they appear in the NOTAM searches. Links are in the description. To search Atlantic area NOTAMs, go to the FAA NOTAM search. Enter the code for New York Oceanic, KZWY, and click search. The ones you are looking for usually start with due to military stationary altitude reservation. Clicking on the grift reservation, you will see the duration is only 3 hours in this case. This is typical and would not be associated with a Skymaster exercise. Note the altitude block is sufficient for trailing the wires. Checking the other reservation, you will see the same 3-hour duration and an altitude block sufficient for trailing the wires. These notums indicate an area is available for use and is not a guarantee they will be used. In order to have a full cycle Skymaster exercise, these reservations are longer than 8 hours and roughly match the other area's notum time-wise. Here is an example from a previous Skymaster. Note the 12-hour duration and altitude block. To search the Pacific areas, I like to use one of the predefined searches, the CARF search. Sort the list by location. The code you are looking for is ZAK. There are currently no Takamo areas in the list, so I will use a search result from a previous Skymaster event. Note the 13-hour durations to cover the Skymaster exercise and the altitude blocks for the areas outlined. Also in the list for Minneapolis Center, code ZMP, is the trailing wire area for the E-4 over Lake Superior. Note the smaller altitude block of only 5,000 feet, indicating only a short wire antenna can be deployed. So, for the Skymaster that occurred on January 11, 2023, we have 602 in the Gulf, with an 11-hour reservation from 4Z to 15Z. There was the Loin Reservation in the Atlantic. 12 hours long from 5Z to 17Z, and in the Pacific there was Bravo, Kelly, Area 1, and Area 2 all 13 hours long from 5Z to 18Z. So this is what the reservations look like for big Skymaster exercises. More than 8 hours for all three areas with start and stop times roughly matching. Smaller Skymaster events can occur though without this type of setup. There is one other area for the Pacific worth mentioning. Warning Area 260. It is a multi-use area and is rarely used by Takamos. In this case, the altitude block is good for trailing the wires and it is that typical 3 hours long.